Good afternoon and welcome you to the Battle of the Sexes show. I am your host, Connie Osley, with my colleague, Seth Luciano. And on today's show, we're going to be asking our guests questions to get their opinion in relationships. So let's get the show started. So, Seth, seeing how you're a man, do you think you have a huge ego? Because I think you do. Did you say ego? Because I think I'm kind of hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think you got the huger ego than here, not me. Nah, I'm straight with that. No, I honestly think I'm bold, but I don't think that I have a huge ego. Nah, you'd be a bold with me today here on that show. I just think we should just get the show started. Can you please introduce our guests? All right, let's introduce our guests, um, Arian Russell and Marna Hardrick. Let's have their opinion on relationships. All right, let's discuss our first topic with our guests. What do you think is, who do you think is more dominant in a relationship, a male or female? I would have to say a female is more dominant in a relationship just because of what they do in the household and how they take care of things. And Martin? I, Martin? I agree, but I don't believe it's because of how they handle. I, I believe it's just because they have uh, what guys want, so we tend to comply to uh, what they want. That's not the only reason. And that's not the only reason. There's <laughs> other the ways you can reason. satisfy yourself. Okay, first of all, all right, you, you're married, right? And for instance, if you want to look for something, who do you call for? If you can't find it, your wife, right? If you want something to eat, who do you call for? Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be technical. You call for the You're woman call in the, the household, so she's she's the dominant one. She does everything. That's not true. She, she doesn't do everything because she in, does in, most in, things. In, in most situations, the the male is the one that brings the bread home. So the I, in I, most situations, I, I actually not all. I prepare the bread that I bought myself. I mean, it's kind of like a, it's fifty fifty in a way, like seventy five. No. Um, yeah, I would go seventy five. I, I don't know about that. I got to disagree because in my household, I'm the one doing everything. Regardless of, there, yeah, there is regardless of where, your household, you do your thing or your man's with you. But in my household, I do everything. If someone's gonna come, would be with me or live with me, then you know we could discuss things fifty fifty. But that's how I gotta see it. Well, you know, it all matters like in it's different households. Versa. But Moment for what I've seen, time, the woman basically hold things down. Yeah, I definitely agree with you, Arian. Thank you. Well, if the guy's not there, then I don't think you, the ride wouldn't be so smooth. Where's the guy gonna go? To work. Obviously, he's there for a reason. Exactly, to work. And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? If, if, the, if dude's bringing the bread home, then the least you can do is, you know what I'm saying? But Cook most, like, in, in this time and age, the women are bringing bread home, too. Yeah. We're not just, like, sitting at home and, like, popping out babies. Welfare, food stamps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Next question, guys. Is it right or wrong for a male or a female to be um, hit in a relationship? I'm going to start with you, Marlon. Absolutely not. I mean, some say that if, if your girl hits you, you hit them back or vice versa, but it's not good to hit anybody. You got to try to keep your hands to yourself because things don't go smooth. I agree with you. When there's violence. <laughs> it's not good. See, it's that's where I have feeling. a problem. It's yeah, I totally feeling. agree with that. Because if a, f a male is calling me out my name and they're calling me a B word and, you know, that just happens to get me upset, I just might, you know, get a backhand in. I don't mean to, but it's just disrespectful. You shouldn't be calling me out my name. Yeah. I agree it's disrespectful, yeah. but I just don't, I don't condone it like in any situation that a man should put a hand on a woman or a woman should put a hand on a man because that's just disrespectful. It is disrespectful, but that, we, that B word is very disrespectful. It is disrespectful, but then you just walk away from the situation. There's definitely other yeah. ways you can handle it besides yeah. getting physical. Nah, people just want to try to be dominant and hit somebody. No, nah, it's goes my way or the highway. It don't work like that. Some people just like to see violence as their, as their answer. Oh, yeah. Not necessarily. I don't mean to be like, I'm not just going to say I'm going to hit you. You gave me the reason and I did. I'm going to apologize for it, but you should have never came out my name if, if I'm telling you specifically don't say nothing. Why would you continue? Because people say things when they're angry. You yeah. say things, hurtful things when you're angry. But a lot of people don't think when they're angry. Yeah. They just speak their mind. Half the time, that's not the... Best thing to do. There has to be one adult in that situation. And if there's really love in a relationship, then hitting would never even come to like your mind to, That's to put true. your hand on the person. Should be Chris Brown and Rihanna. I love right. you, Rihanna. Right. Right. It's not even like that. <laughs> <laughs> she got her ass. <laughs> Was it over text messaging? Oh, right. okay. Um, we'll be right back after these commercials. Thank you. Jay, I'm back from the store.
store, got munchies. Ha ha! I got it! Bop, you're me! Thanks, Dad. I'm full to the max. Pepsi Max. Zero calories, maximum Pepsi taste. Welcome back from our commercial break. Next subject of choice is, is it wrong for a female or male to be flirty in a relationship while they're dating? Arian? I 50-50 with that one because uh -oh. like uh -oh. certain situation come around, you know. What do you and mean? Like, okay, if you're like with a friend you've known for a while, sometimes if it's a guy friend with a girl, you guys are gonna be flirty, but you're not gonna take it to a place where it's gonna be more than that. But where I don't contone for is like when you exchange numbers with somebody or like you're texting them and talking over the phone excessively. That's a little beyond the phone. Yeah, it's beyond, yeah. It's more yeah, that's a little trying to make it to somebody. Trying to like get like I don't I don't condone that, but like just a little flirting thing never really hurt. As long as you don't take it anywhere. There's a couple types of flirting. It's flirting trying to get to know somebody or friendly flirting. Um, well friendly flirting never hurt. So I'm fifty fifty with that one. Yeah. What you Marlon? I guess I'd be 50-52, but it's more like I kind of like have a flirty personality when, when it comes to talking to, to the ladies anyway, whether I plan on trying to take it somewhere or if I don't. That's just how I am with girls. I'm trying to be, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be nice and smooth with it. But uh, I can't say I wouldn't get mad if my girls flirt with dudes. So I, 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 Jealous? I don't, right. I, don't think <laughs> it's, I don't think it's personally wrong because, you know, I don't know, I think I'm always around people, so if I don't even tend to know that I'm flirting. I just, you, you know, yeah, I usually don't catch myself until my friend's like, you were flirting, and I'm just like, okay. It never usually comes to mind until you're done thinking, like, what did I just say? I did yeah, say yeah, a little something really a little just, fresh, I guess. I guess it really just depends on yeah. uh, how you far it. they're taking it. Yeah. Right, true. that's true. Just keep it on that mutual level. Um, well, with that being said, let's move along to our next subject. All right. Furthermore, what do you think the responsibilities as a man is supposed to do in a relationship as a female would do? Ariane? Well. What is your role? My role? As a, a girlfriend. As, as a, a girlfriend? Yes. Right. I think my role is to, like, take care of my boyfriend. Like, be there for him when he wants me to be there. Like, help around a little bit. I mean, as a female, you're, I think how I was growing up, you're, you're supposed to cook, clean, do all that stuff, and work. Because I've seen my mom do it, so I know it's not impossible. So, like, you're just supposed to be there for your man, like, not treat him bad. And, like, I think a man is supposed to be there for his female, like, help her out with stuff. Like, don't just leave her alone or, like, don't call on her, like, only when you want sex or something like that. All right, all right. A relationship's supposed to be more than that. Hmm. What about you, Marlon? I believe that both roles are just for each individual to help their partner grow as a person. You're not really... I don't believe there's specific roles for any you know, individual. It's just help grow with each other, make it work. You feel me? If, if there's something there, then it's there. And you'll just, you know what I'm saying, grow with it. But it's kind of frustrating or hard at times because my role in a relationship is I'm always the one who's caring, willing to, you know, be nice, go that extra mile, and I never usually get um, appreciated for it in the end. It's always usually me, 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 me. And it's like I'm sensitive, so when I actually do care about someone and do love them, it it's like it's usually taken for granted. I have to agree with Connie because I'm always getting screwed over in the long run. You try to be Mr. Nice Guy and you get walked over like a doormat, like if it ain't nothing. I mean, you just have to find that one person that's worth being Mr. Nice Guy for. Like, you're not going to do that for every female just off the bat. You have to get to know them to know that, okay, I'm going to give this girl or this guy my all. And that's going to be my number one. I just don't notice it until it's like too late and I'm already stuck. So it's like, what am I supposed to do? I already love him and um, there's nothing else I can do. 
Our last topic is why are some males and females embarrassed in public with their insignificant other? Marlon. In insignificant? Yes. Significant. You're significant. Your boyfriend or girlfriend. Why right. are you embarrassed? In public I mean, places. <laughs> I wouldn't be embarrassed, embarrassed to be out with my girlfriend. Um, I mean, I guess if she was not as easy on the eyes as some other females, it might be. I don't know. I, I really don't think I'd f feel any kind of way about being in public with my girlfriend. Aaron? Mm -hmm. Even if she wasn't not the case. I think it depends on what like <laughs> what they do in public. Like if they're loud or if they're like yeah, yeah. if you go out to eat and they like can't really like you know if gritty. You're, if you're an embarrassment. Yeah, like if you like if they get drunk and they're like too sloppy, can't handle yeah, themselves, like, yeah. yeah. immature. Yeah, you wouldn't want to go out with them in certain situations, but I don't think I would ever get in a relationship with somebody where I wouldn't want to walk down the street with. Because right, right, that's yeah. dumb. Okay, how about if you're um, embarrassed to bring them around your family because they're um, not in school and they're working at McDonald's? Do you think it's okay to bring them that's around your family? Thing. I always said to myself that I would never bring a guy around my family if I wasn't serious about him. Because I don't want my family to say that, oh, I'm with him this week, and then I'm not with him the next week, and then I'm with another guy that looks, Kinda looks wrong. bad. Yeah. Right. So I would never bring a guy around my family unless we were serious. But, like, I wouldn't really care if he worked at McDonald's, really. Like, mm -hmm. Money's money. You're just trying to make ends like, meet. That's understandable, but coming from my family, everyone went to college. So for me to bring someone like that, it's kind of hard because my mom, my grandmother, my uncles, everyone went to college. So it's like kind of hard. I don't have a problem accepting a person for who they are, but it just gets a little frustrating at times. Yeah. Sometimes you, you can't really listen to what your family says. So you have nah. to do what's best for you. Yep. That's true. Yeah, right. But when your family's in your ear talking, it, it just gets a little frustrating at times. It does. Just right, tell yeah. them to But um, thank you guys for your opinions. Maybe it was rule. <laughs> um, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning in. Next week, we will discuss who's better in bed, females or males. <laughs> males. Males. It all depends. Males. It all depends. <laughs>